Okay, this video is going to be how to take the best possible meeting notes. So whether you are a manager or a team lead, whether you are a business owner that has lots of client calls, maybe you are, I don't know, just on a team and you want to take better meeting notes to be more on top of it. This video is going to show you how. So I'll be using Reflect, uh, the tool that I'm always using for these videos. And a couple of the features might be unique to Reflect in certain ways, but you know, there's various different network note taking tools. That's kind of the main functionality this relies on. Also, the AI tools can be done with uh, tools like ChatGPT instead of the integrated AI assistant. So take a look at everything that I talk about. And, you know, you can take and find the different parts of the workflow that fit into your own life and apply them. And if you don't use uh, Reflect as a note taking app, you can use alternative tools. But let's kind of jump in and how to get started. So Going over into the note on the left here, just to start, this is my daily note. So Reflect has a daily note format. Each note has its own designated day going on to infinity down there. And this is where I log everything that happens in my day. One of the main things being meetings. So let's say it's now 2 p.m. and we're going to meet with Barbara. So how I got this in here, just so that you can see down below here, I have all of my calendar events listed for the day because I have my calendar integrated. And if I click on this, it pulls up this box where I have the attendees of the meeting and I can create a backlinked note by selecting this box and having it add to my daily note. That's exactly what I am looking at here. So it's got the time at 2 p.m. I met with Barbara and it has her name backlinked and she is a person. And then it has this uh, pre backlinked note for us that is all set for the meetings. So the way I like to kind of do things is if I know that I am in something like a one-on-one -on -one. that's going to be a regular meeting that repeat. I'm going to use the backlinked note itself that I'm in on the right here to include any context that I want to remember. So this could be information about Barbara. This could be her goals. This could be, um, you know, maybe the main projects that we are working on together and that we need to discuss each time. Whatever it is, it can go in this note and act as kind of legacy evergreen information that I might want to reference each time or in the future. And then what I'm going to do is during the actual meeting itself, I'm going to take notes here on the left within my daily note. So just to kind of put in a couple of things, maybe we went over the uh, Q3 goals. Maybe we uh, reviewed high level Q4 goals. And maybe we went over any roadblocks. And maybe as a sub part of that, I have a to do list item. And uh, maybe Barbara's roadblocked on something and I need to help her get sign off for a freelance hire. Okay, so I'll just kind of stop right there. And but you can see how if you go on through the meeting, you can write anything down there that happens. I typically like to write uh, you know, summary points as bullets. And then I like to write any to do list as task items and go through fix my spelling there. And as you can see, we have these notes now in the incoming backlink section at the bottom of um, this note on the right hand side here. So you can see how that's useful. If I am meeting with Barbara, let's say um, on Tuesday, October 10th, and let's say I once again met with um, Barbara. I've got two in there. And I can even pull up uh, the backlink to note there and link to us there. Um, that's kind of written poorly because I did that manually. I didn't use the integration because it was not at an actual meeting there. But now I can just click on that link again here. And I can pull it up in the split screen and say, OK, sweet. Last time we went over Q3 goals and reviewed the high level Q4 goals. Oh, and I was supposed to get her sign up on that. Maybe I did do it. Maybe I didn't do it. Um, if I did, I can kind of check in on that and see how that's going. <laughs> and if I didn't, then I can apologize for not doing uh, the task I said I would. But uh, it's also helpful if I need to go, you know, see what I promised her I would do in the week. I can also review this and see that I had a unchecked off task there. So this is kind of the main structure of how to take meeting notes. Uh, again, going back to just that first daily note, create a line item take any meeting notes for that individual one right underneath and take any legacy notes within the backlink note. Now, I should also note if it's not an ongoing meeting, if it is maybe just a client call. So let's actually do 
um, and practice one on that. Let's say that at uh, 3 p.m. I met with, um, I'm going to make up a fake company um, about becoming a client. And maybe I'll, you know, backlink my agency so that I know that that's exactly what it was referring to and it wasn't referring to my reflect work or something else. And in this case, I might want to actually, you know, create a backlink note under fake company. And maybe I want to, you know, to create a whole backlink note for just this conversation, in which case I could select all of this text and create a backlink note off of it. And then if I want to go in here and, you know, create a type, it's a meeting and um, I can create or type down any notes of the things that we talked. So maybe we um, discuss an outbound email channel and maybe, it, you know, decided it was not the right time and wanted to follow up with them in two months from now. And then it will automatically put that date in there. And then I can go through and, you know, click on that note in here. And once I'm here, I see this note in my incoming backlinks that uh, I was supposed to follow up with fake company. So you can kind of start to see how everything becomes linked together. And it's something that you don't really fully experience after the first meeting. It takes a couple where you can kind of go back and you see the information that you recorded from long ago and that you can just kind of recall it instantly. So that's, again, the high level structure. Now, let me talk about just a couple things that are very worth mentioning because they might actually change how you take meetings entirely. So here in these notes, you see that I manually wrote down bullet points, but I don't have to manually write them down. Let's say that I had this conversation and I didn't take any notes. But afterwards, I want to record what happens. I'm just going to record and transcribe a voice note here. So. I met with fake company about them becoming a client for Startup Cookie. They really liked the idea of an outbound email growth channel, but they feel like they need to do some more product work before going all in on a growth channel. They would like me to follow up with them in about two months. And I can stop that. And you can see here, that wasn't a very long voice memo, so it will probably transcribe it pretty quickly. It will create an audio memo backlinked note and put the transcription underneath it, which I can then put into the meeting. There we go. So what I'm going to do here is just drag this underneath. And I can just leave it like that if I want. I and then I have those notes for next time. Maybe I want to put this information into their actual backlinks note so that I have that information for next time. So that alone is worth doing for the audio. Note. That takes just a few seconds after the call. Do it right when it's fresh in your head and you're good to go. But one more cool trick. You don't have to leave it as a block of text like that. We can pull up the AI palette editor. So I'm going to do command J and uh, I'm going to use the um, actually let me do key takeaways and action items. I had to think there because I have a lot of different AI prompts for various different meetings, but this one just prompts the AI assistant to divide into the information into two different lists, the key meeting takeaways and the action items. So. Um, this one is a little bit funky because I took a really, really short voice memo. I would normally include more detail and give it more to work off of. But you can see how if you run it on that afterwards, I now have these clean notes in here for next time. So again, if I go into this note, I can now see all of this in the incoming backlink section. And you can also transcribe, you know, whole meetings if you wanted to. You could start recording and transcribe the whole thing and then just run the AI assistant on the whole meeting. But in short, this is how you take great meeting notes. And if you do this diligently, you can even click on the meeting tags and see a list of all the meetings that you've made in your notes. This is my demo brain. Uh, so these are all fake meetings. There's a lot more in my real one. But over time, you build up that network. You see who you met with. You know exactly what was discussed. You know exactly what you promised to accomplish, what the other person promised to accomplish. And it honestly just makes you a lot better at your job. People will enjoy meeting with you more. Your meetings will be shorter because they'll be more efficient and you'll get more done. It's all around a really big win.